Hello everybody, this is Tara from My Artsy Mind, and today I am going to just play with some guest checks. I got a green, green guest checks and like a purplish, a light purple color. And um, I just wanted to do some real simple tags with them. Um, they can be embellished further after this, but um, I like to have a bunch of them on hand. Uh, just playing with some stencils, giving them a little something extra. Now, one of them, yeah, these green ones have uh, lined on the back, and they say thank you. I'm probably not going to do much to the back of those, but these are just plain. So I'm going to do a little, little added something extra just to give it a little more dimension back there. So for the most part, we are going to do some stenciling. First, let's go ahead and put these on so they can start drying. I'll put those over there. And those over there. There we go. Excellent. All right, and I will use glue stick for this. Move this up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Actually, I'm almost out of this glue stick. I might have to quickly get another one. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely need to get another one. <laughs> so I'm not planning on doing any stitching on these. So I'm just gonna make sure I get the edges really good with the glue. It's pretty thin paper, so I think it'll attach well. So there's one down, at least for the back. We'll put that aside. <clears throat> Excuse me, is it? Yeah, the same size. That one's a goner. Yeah, nothing like a brand new glue stick. Woohoo! All right. And next, this is going to be a lot of <clears throat> a lot of glue in here. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. I uh, was could not sleep this morning at all. I was up at like 1.30 in the morning and tossed and turned until about 3.30 and got up and came out to the studio. I figure if I can't sleep, I might as well get some crafting done, right? <clears throat> so that is what I've been doing since bright and early. It's, it's only 9.30 now, but yeah, it's been uh, quite a morning. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and finish, <clears throat> excuse me, finish these up off camera and I will be right. Okay, so I have all of these ones backed and I'm just going to stick them under this book for a little while while we work on the green ones. Oops, I'm put the glue stick away, throwing stuff around. All right, get out my handy dandy little brush and we'll just start picking Stencils, yeah. So that looks nice. So I don't want to completely cover it, but I do want to give it a little bit of a little bit of zhuzh. So, so I'm gonna start. There we go. Just a little bit. Oops. Start at the corner. Work, work my way in. Ooh, I think I need to flip this stencil around. I just wanted to flip up this way. Hmm. Maybe I have it a little backwards. Hmm. I don't remember having those problems before with a stencil, so let's see if that helps. I need to finish this one first. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. 
Yeah, I like that. Nice and simple. Let's do one more with this stencil. Let me flip it over. Maybe it'll work better. Let's do it like that. Yeah, this side seems to be wanting to lay down flatter. Good. So we're just going to give it a little something. Gives it... This way it can be added to a journal as is, or we can um, add a little bit more decoration to it based on the journal that it's going in. But I think even just in the basic form, this is a real quick and easy way to do up some ephemera. Yeah, oh, it's so pretty. I do like that. Let's try another stencil. Let me get two more out and we'll do Let's do this one. I like this stencil too. Let's see. I don't know if there's a right side up or down, but let's put them in here. Yeah, that'll cover it. Good. I can get two for one here. Just hold it steady, huh? So most of these, um, I believe, I bought on AliExpress. I might have gotten a few at like uh, Michael's at craft store, but I think most of them I, I got on uh, AliExpress. You just can't beat how cheap they are, and yeah, it might take a while to get them, but... They are handy. I do enjoy my stencils. I've been thinking about making some. I've been watching a few different people make their own stencils. Um, and I'm really intrigued. That way I can definitely get, ooh, pretty. Get my own look that I want. Cool, so there's two more. Let's set that aside. Let's get Two more. Let's get the big stencil out. Another big one anyways. Oh. Let's see, how can I get both of them in there? Ooh, that might be interesting. Like that. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it. All right. I'll be inking around them too. I kind of like these uh, guest checks <clears throat> are quickly becoming my favorite right now. I also have some library cards that I did something very similar to. Oops. See, like those little pockets and cards, and I like having them around. It's just so quick and easy. Let's see, this one looks like it needs more. Mm, maybe not. It's showing up pretty good. Woohoo! Cool. Not bad. And set those aside. Last two of the green ones. Let's see, I got my little, down to the little stencils. Hmm, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll use that one. I won't be able to do them both together, but. Let's do this. Let's give it a go and just see. shift it down a little bit and see if we can still get that pattern to keep repeating. Yeah, that worked. Nice. So let's do this. 
it would be a little bit delicate because this is uh, a <clears throat> the stencil is pretty thin I'm enjoying it though yeah I love that look okay Yeah, excellent. So I've got the green ones there. And let's do the purple ones. We'll do the same combos. So I'll work my way backwards on these. one and remember to keep the brush out of the center when I first start I don't want those big blobs I don't mind them being around the outside edge but those two. Slip them back in there. And this guy, we will do the same as I did the other. I'll do there. I'll put you just a little higher. So I just started kind of getting into the stenciling side of things. I've been playing with stamps and that's been fun, but I had all these stencils and I wanted to figure out the best way to use them. And I kind of like doing it, using the stencils more for creating my backgrounds. And so even if it's a background for tags, it has been nice. It gives me some variety and it's, uh, uh, I feel like I can make some pretty papers even though I'm not coffee dyeing or teeth tea staining anything <clears throat> but I eventually will be doing that as well I've got a pile of stuff and uh, to, ready to roll for that so hopefully soon see my on my on screen yeah I did find some um, <clears throat> thought, um, whoops some what's it called uh, Oh, vinyl uh, tablecloth uh, lace to help create those impressions when you do your coffee staining and tea staining on the paper. So I'm really looking forward to trying that. <clears throat> I also have um, a whole bunch of uh, crocheted doilies, which I th thought, you know what, why not use them too and see what kind of uh, impression they make. It's not vinyl, but I'm sure it'll do something. So I'm going to play around with both and see what I can come up with. See if I like one impression better than another. Mm, aren't those pretty? So simple. Oh, and I'm already at the last one. Hmm. Yep, last two, okay. Let's put them down. See how they lay out. And move it up 
a little. Yeah, I think that'll work. Crevices, try not to move my stencil. <laughs> Let's see how the impression's coming along. A little bit more here in the center. Yeah. There we go. Yep, love it. Okay. So now that I have that done, the next thing is going to be inking up um, around the edge. And I think on the back of these, actually I'm gonna bring some paper over because there we go. I just wanna do a little bit along the edge here. I think I'll be doing that to these as well. And then inking the outside edge. I think oop, this part I will continue off camera and then I will be right back. Okay, excellent. Okay, and here is the last guest check. I'm just gonna ink around the outside edge here. And I'm going to distress the back side just a little. So, using my handy dandy makeup brush. thinking I want to get a larger size. I've seen some other people use a bigger one. It just looks like it covers more service area quick and maybe it doesn't, I don't know, we'll see. One of these days, I find one at the dollar store. <laughs> All right, so right now we've got a purple and I've got the green. So the front sides, the back sides. Yeah. And it can be decorated up. I've got, um, do I have some? Yeah. So here's some that I had done, oh, a while ago. And I went a step further with these. These I actually um, used the Tim Holtz paper, doll, paper dolls. And then these I put butterflies on. And I backed them all. So now I've got bases that I can do all kinds of different things with. <clears throat> And I can add these to my stash, and they're ready to grab and gro grab and go. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, or at least got some ideas from it. Um, I did the exact same idea with these uh, library cards, the pocket and the card, so that I would have those to go as well, quickly. All right, guys. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so that you can uh, find more videos as I pop them out. All right. Have a good one.